Greetings and welcome. Thank you to each and every listener who has been part of this process. To any new listeners, thank you for being here today. I hope there is something for you to take from this podcast and graciously impact your day to day. For returning listeners, as always, I'm so happy to have you here for this bonus episode titled Affirmations to End Your Day with Bradley. Today I am recording at the CoLab Studios in Clearwater, Florida, and as always, I want to thank the impeccable staff who has made this podcast possible. The end of the day is my personal favorite time of day for reflection. As much as I would like to be, I am not a person who enjoys the morning time. Um, I'm kind of one of those natural night owls, so I really do my best reflecting after a long day when I take my dogs for a nighttime walk and I can just look up at the big dark sky full of the moonlight and stars. For this podcast episode, if you are able, I encourage you to find a quiet spot to sit and be with your thoughts. Unlike morning affirmations, which encourage a positive start to the day, nighttime affirmations really allow us to consider what happened in our day, what we learned from our interactions, and how we can change things about the day we didn't like. What we end up finding is that we set ourselves up for the next day before we allow sleep to reset our mind. I also encourage you, if you are able, to reflect on your day after you have cleansed yourself and you have made yourself comfortable with clean clothes, a warm cup of tea, or anything else that helps you relax. I know in my life there are always the times for the uh, quick showers, which are inevitable, but there are also times where I can take a second and light a candle or maybe put on some relaxing music and use what I would call the good soaps. So this is always a time to focus on cleaning, and I want you to focus on cleaning each part of your body. And in a sense, you're kind of washing away the stress and the hardships and the mental grime from the day. As you watch the soap and the water go down the drain, just imagine all of the difficulties and stress you experienced also going down the drain with it. The implications of your day are no longer part of you. And you can move forward with what is left of your day, not needing to hold on to or carry this around with you anymore. If you're not able to cleanse yourself before considering these affirmations, I simply encourage you to take a few moments to yourself to consider the events and the situations of today. What were your blessings? You know, actually, let me ask specifically, what were three good things that happened to you today? Right now, I can say, In my experience, it's mid-afternoon, and I've already gotten a hug from my friend Christina. I've had some really good coffee today, and I received a smiley picture of my niece, who was just wearing the absolute cutest outfit. Okay, well, let's be honest, she looks cute in anything she wears, (laughs) but my point is that there must have been something good, and this will begin a positive point of reflection for you to be mindful of. So think of how the people in your life have made you feel today. My friend Christina happens to be the person who gave me the opportunity to create this podcast, which means this is how I was able to connect with all of you right now. She and her wife have introduced me to so many individuals and people who have become friends throughout the years. We share so many happy memories together, and I've always known that when I see Christina, I'm going to have a smile on my face. My favorite coffee shop represents a happy place where I like to go, and I used to work there during my undergraduate degree, just sitting at a table, spreading it all out, and getting to work. So the smell of the coffee shop actually instantly kind of makes me happy, and it motivates me to sit and focus and research. And with time, actually, I've gotten to know the owners of the shop, who are nothing but kind and very humble people. In fact, When I was going through a breakup, I still had to focus on my degree, which was one of the hardest parts. You know, college doesn't start just because you're going through something, or excuse me, it doesn't end because you're going through something. But when I was sad, you know, and I was sitting at the coffee shop that once made me happy just from the smell of walking in, didn't have the same effect on me. And there was one day where the owner could tell I was not quite myself. And as the shop was kind of nearing closing time, she went to the door and she turned off the open sign, locked the door. She went to the back and she came out with a bottle of wine and two glasses and she poured the wine in front of me and handed me a glass and she said, okay, let's talk. What's going on? We ended up sitting there for the next few hours and it was honestly one of the more impactful conversations I had during this time of my life. 
My niece, of course, represents happiness and joy, but she is also the first grandbaby in our family. So little Josie is sort of the catalyst who inspires a new complexity and a dynamic in all the areas of my family's relationships. I have loved seeing my parents take on the role of grandparents. Uh, My brother and my sister-in-law are now parents on their own, and then my sister and I have become aunt and uncle. So Josie reminds me to appreciate the small moments because as she starts to walk and she's mumbling more words, I know the time is going to fly, but I'm also so excited for each milestone to come. And I share all of this with you because I hope you can see how each blessing creates a ripple effect of more blessings and memories and thankful moments. And I ask each of you to take your moment, and I want you to reflect on some of the positive moments from your day. And I know if you are going through a rough time in your life, it may seem difficult to find the happy moments, but I encourage you to dig deep because they are worth it when you find them. I also want you to set the stage for tomorrow to look around your day and check out surroundings. And when you're mindful, you might be surprised how easily three positive things will come to you. As I go over these next 10 affirmations, I encourage you to find one or two that resonate with you and repeat them to yourself as you begin to calm down from your day. I am grateful to be able to enjoy the little things in life. I am in alignment with my life's purpose. I am choosing to let go of anything negative and I refuse to let negative energy come into my safe place. My mind and my body are beautiful, and I am allowing them both to rest and heal as I fall asleep tonight. I have done my best today, and I forgive the rest. The only approval I need is my own. Inhale the future. Exhale the past. I trust my journey, even when I don't understand it. I am perfect, whole, and complete just the way I am. Progress, not perfection. Today was a good day, even if it was not a great day. As we get ready to crawl into bed, or as we get ready to finish out the evening, I want to remind all of you that you are human and you are worthy of love, happiness, and respect. Reflection is a key component in any mental health journey, and I thank each of you for allowing me a moment to reflect with you. My name is Bradley Wink, and this has been an episode of On What Brings You In. If you or anyone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, please call 911. You can also log in to www.988lifeline.org or call or text 988 from your cell phone. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe or check out my website, www.onwhatbringsyouinepisodes.com. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. 